So why did the Paleolithic people create these weapons? First, we need to imagine what life was like during the Paleolithic age. People often moved around in search of food. They were nomads, or people who regularly moved from place to place to survive. The Paleolithic people survived by hunting and gathering. The search of food is often difficult, so the Paleolithic people create these weapons to make it easier to hunt. They make these tools to defend their community from others' enemies too. This is a picture of different sharp stone age spearheads. First, they were cooked, then they were flaked. The key technique here is known as pressure flaking. It is used to make finishing touches to stone spearheads. Pushing an arrow tool against one side of the spearhead releases a thin flake of material from the other side. This allows further fine control, producing narrower and sharper tips. The spear has been used throughout human history both as a hunting and fishing tool and as a weapon. It is one of the earliest and most important tools developed by early humans. As a weapon, it may be wielded with either one hand or two. It was used in virtually every conflict up until the modern era, where even then, it continues on in the form of a bayonet and is probably the most commonly used weapon in history. So how did the world's first societies use art to understand and order their world? Paleolithic people likely hunted, foraged, and employed a communal system for dividing labor and resources. The larger brain of the human species allowed for more creative thinking and increased problem solving, which their community started to develop dozens of different style of stone tools unique to the needs of that group. Olduins are the oldest known stone tools. They date back as far as 2.5 million years ago. They are the earliest evidence of cultural behavior. They are classified as choppers. These choppers were created from pebbles of quartz, quartzite, or basalt. They were made by removing stone cores with flakes from part of the surface, which then created a sharp edge. They didn't form it to have a standardized pattern. Olduins were first discovered in Olduvai Gorge, which is located in Tanzania. However, the oldest site they have been found in is Ghana, which is located within Ethiopia. They then used the tool to either cut, chop, or scrape. The hand axe was one of the longest used axes in human history. It was used to butcher and stun animals, chop tree barks, and also dig tubers. These hand axes were mainly created out of flint, but they could have used other rocks as well. So how is it a form of art? It's a form of weapon art, as you can see different sizes and shape for the people who lived throughout the Paleolithic era, such as triangular, oval, and almond shape. Aside from killing animals from the land, we have a harpoon which is a larger spear-like weapon used to kill aquatic animals like whales, tuna, and swordfish. This is evidence from the remains in Congo that harpoon were used in 19,000 years ago. They are mostly made out of bones, antler, and ivory. The bow and arrow are known to have been invented by the end of the Upper Paleolithic. This is the oldest depiction of comeback found in Iberian cave art, a battle between archers. This is the oldest bow that found in Denmark. These bows are made of elm and have flat arms and a D-shaped midsection. The complete bow is 5 feet long. This is the oldest human-made arrowhead that found in South Africa, and the scientists said that they were at least 64,000 years old, and when they inspected it closely, they found residue of blood and bones on the stone points. Also, they found the arrowhead had contained trace of a plant-based glue that the scientists think it was used to fasten down on a wooden shaft. 